Oh boy, do we have a lot to go over. So many different models. So, I will go ahead in this part to show you every single other model that we got in the holiday haul. And in a future video, I will do an unboxing of these vehicles. And I'll probably be split into a few vehicles because there is a lot of vehicles to unbox. So let's go ahead and get on into this video. Welcome back again for part two of the Holiday Haul. Uh, so, if you haven't already seen the part one, I definitely recommend to go ahead and scoot on over to that video uh, and go ahead and see what we had for the first of the holiday haul and everything that I had gotten for the holidays as this is part two and there will also be a part three. I'm so glad that you made it to the channel. Be sure to go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you are not a current subscriber. And go ahead and comment down below. I love seeing comments. They definitely help my channel. And you, as a subscriber or a viewer, can definitely help my channel grow. Mm. Be sure to go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button. I'll definitely appreciate it. And go ahead and subscribe down below if you have not already to go ahead and join the Hot Wheel crew here on this channel. And join me, Hot Wheels Dad, as we venture through this journey of opening up Hot Wheels, racing them, doing other unboxings and various things with Hot Wheels. So I'm definitely glad that you could make it. And uh, be sure to go ahead and also hit the notification bell. That way anytime I have new videos uploaded to the channel, you will be notified of those videos. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to this part two of the Holiday Hall. Everyone, if you are new to the channel, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. And go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified anytime a new video comes up to the channel. And go ahead and comment down below what you think of this video and the unboxing from the Holiday Haul. Start this journey together on part two of looking at my Holiday Haul. All right. First up, we have Chill Mill. Super cool Easter edition. There's Chill Mill. Next up is Ice Shredder Bobsled. Super, super small wheels. Uh, the uh, kind of cool to see if that makes it faster or if it just keeps bumping into the sides to slow down. So that is Ice Shredder. Next up, we have a GT Hunter. Definitely futuristic, like blueprint type formula car. Sweet looking ride. Next up, we have the Cosmic Coupe. Low profile vehicle. Interesting back design for the Cosmic Coupe. Next up, we have the Dev Ansonator. Uh, kind of looks like a mirror, so that's pretty neat. Don't know if it uh, lifts up at all or not, but yeah, that is a Dev Ansonator. Next, we have Bot Wheels. So, not Hot Wheels, but Bot Wheels. From the HW Space. Definitely kind of reminds me of the Mars uh, Lunar Lander Rover, or whatever it's called. Definitely a neat looking model. Next up, we have Electro Silhouette. 
Electro Silhouette is supposed to be a pretty quick model. So let's see in future races how quick it really is. Next we have the Red Praying Mantis. Styled like a praying mantis. I definitely love when the fantasy models have clever little names. So this is the Praying Menace. Next up we have Split Decision. Split Decision. It looks like you can run the car either way. So that is a pretty cool model. All right, next up, this is another version of a Speed Shark. I, uh, in my original video for the sneak peek for the channel, I did a purple version. I do like this version much better. It has uh, little chrome colors on it, nice orange decals. Definitely looks a lot more lively as a vehicle in this color uh, and the different decals that they put on it. But this is a Speed Shark. Next up is Aeropod from the Dinos, uh, the Dino Riders. Uh, looks like they're trying to do kind of like a uh, Triceratops or some kind of dinosaur design on the very front of it. Uh, definitely a larger vehicle. That would be cool to see uh, how quick this one goes down at the track. Next up, we have Mr. Old School Dog Fighter. This is an all metal casting. And man, this thing is supposed to fly on the track. And thus it should be an airplane. This is Dogfighter. Um, I was quite happy to be able to find this. Next up, we have HW Papa Wheelie. Originally, I thought it was supposed to uh, small wheel be in front, big wheel be in back, but it actually rides with the popped up version in front. So it's riding down the track this way. So it is interesting because you would think it would go the other way. But it sure does not. So this is the gold version. So and the super chromes. So HW Pop a Willy. Next up we have the Loopster from Experim Motors. Uh, got the little people inside the roller coaster and a little clip in front and back to attach multiple loopsters together to make a unique looking roller coaster vehicle. Next up, and I was glad to find this in green. I am a super Godzilla fan. And so to be able to find... The Rodzilla, which is really hard to read the name, but Rodzilla in green. A lot of times you find them in the totally chromed out or in purple. Uh, so when I found the green version, I just had to have it. I love this thing. Uh, it's one of the uh, one of the first models that I owned as a kid, but I did own the purple one when I was younger. So I'm very glad to be able to add this to my collection. Next up, we have Slingshot. Slingshot almost looks like the Maelstrom and the Vulture had a baby. But this thing is sleek, open up in the back, nice aerodynamic looking vehicle. Definitely seems like it's going to be a quick model. Next up, we have Turboa. Turboa is like Turbo Boa. It is a snake wrapped around a vehicle. I know it's really hard to see, it's a little dusty. 
So when we do the unboxing, it's going to be a little easier to see Turboa. But I thought this was a super unique type model. When uh, And, of course, these old packs didn't have the actual car like the newer versions do. Uh, so in the unboxing, you'll probably be able to get a better look at Turboa. Next up, we have one of those little motion type models in Crate Racer. And the model itself looks pretty cool, and this uh, engine in the back will actually rock back and forth when it rolls. And here you can see a uh, front view of the motor rocking back and forth as the wheels turn. I'm going to have a neat little tournament in the future of all the vehicles that do things just like this one. So when you roll it, something happens. So definitely stay tuned for the channel in the future for that nice little mini tournament to see which one of those type of roll motion Hot Wheels is going to be the fastest. Next up, an X Racer version of Carbide. Carbide was a neat little model and the fact that this one's the X Racer's version is pretty sick looking. It does have a solid metal bottom, but that is awesome looking. Excited to see how that does in the future. Next up, we got the cool black, red, and silver street beast called Turbo Rooster. Nice cool little engines on the side. Looks like the rooster is ready to fly. That is cool. But that is Turbo Rooster. Next up, we have Hologram. Hologram does look pretty similar to another one coming up in the video. And that one is uh, semi-fast, but this one is hologram. Uh, nice little uh, fins for a, whatchamacallit, the fins for the back of the semi. Look, uh, looks like it, it can be possibly quick. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it does on the track. And it is supposed to go this way. I've seen a lot of people actually run it backwards and go this way. But yeah, that is hologram. Next car we have is the x Razors version of the Linster Prototype. Look at that. That is sleek. That is cool. That is something different. Has a clear little wheels nice clear green I, I love the green this this color clear green with a metallic underneath that is sick can't wait to unbox this guy and get him racing all right next up we have the brown uh, dusty gold, whatever you want to call it, HW Formula Solar. Uh, this has those wheels that are supposed to be really, really quick on the uh, the racetrack. Uh, the top does pop up, as you can see here. Focus, focus, come on. You can do it. There you go, good little camera. There we go. So the front does pop up to see underneath, but it is a pretty flat model. Definitely aerodynamic. That it is not lacking any kind of aerodynamic um, aspects to it. But that is HW Formula Solar. Next up, we have Lethal Diesel. Lethal Diesel uh, does kind of look like uh, Erkenstein or Erkenstein or whatever you call it. Uh, they do uh, look a little bit familiar, or similar, I should say, but Lethal Diesel, definitely a sweet looking model. Looks like it's going to be pretty quick with a cool Hot Wheels orange wheels on it. Next up, 
We have the super long name of Formula E Gen 2 car. Look at that thing. That is a real sleek model. Part of the Green Speed, a DHW Green Speed series. Oh, yeah. That, that guy looks like it is ready to race. Next up, we have Steer Clear. Nice Red Bull looking vehicle. Uh, definitely seems like there's a lot of metal casting in this one. Uh, definitely feels like it has a good amount of weight to it as well. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It also has it on the top. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, steer clear. Let's see if this thing does well on the track when it gets to racing. All right, another one of those uh, roll motion vehicles. This one actually has the hood pop up and down, uh, as you can see on here. This is Hotwiler. Instead of Rottweiler, because it's kind of a picture of like kind of like a dog with the uh, the collar on the back and the chain. So instead of a Rottweiler, it is Hotwiler. Pretty cool looking model if I don't say so myself. Cool to see it in a little roll motion Hot Wheel tournament. Next up we have the interesting pink, blue, and yellow version of Carbonator from Xperia Motors. There, there's several different versions or I should say colors of this model. And um... The back actually is a bottle opener, which I found pretty cool. As you can see here, you can use the back to pop open a bottle in its special feature. But well, that is Carbonator. All right, moving on, because boy, do we have so many to go through. Rocket Oil Special from HW Art Cars. Super cool type colors in this one. Nice big exposed motor. Oh yeah guys, we have so much more to cover. Look at this pile. We still got more to go. Alright. We might even break this into three parts. So let's go over a few more. But yeah, I think we might actually break this into three parts because there are so many vehicles to go over. Is Express Lane. This one is the original old school shopping cart. This one has the motor directly in the little cart as opposed to aisle driver. Although you can't see... Uh, the yellowness like I as much as I can on camera but yeah aisle driver and it's a heavy little model like there's a lot of weight to this little thing so this is probably gonna be pretty quick on the track I would assume so let's find out in the future on a future race next up this is a copy of the very first Hot Wheel I have ever owned when I was um, a little kid probably I don't know six or seven this was the very first Hot Wheel I ever got so I was so happy to be able to find this Hot Wheel it is a stegosaurus on top of a giant motor engine or some kind of thing uh, Definitely has weight to it. The uh, Stegosaurus itself is kind of like a um, rubberish material. Uh, when, when I was a kid, I destroyed the axles on this thing. So to be able to have a new copy of it is great. So Speedosaurus. Next up, and of course, sorry for the sticker on, on this. 
Um, it does come from that will focus focus come on little camera there we go uh, D's uh, which is the probably the best place to ever go um, near Indianapolis for any kind of collectible toys and especially Hot Wheels the uh, D's vintage uh, toys and collectibles uh, very good prices on their cars uh, they run deals here and there to be able to get them even cheaper they have red lines and uh, specialty models and and just regular models and models from all sorts of years um, but anyway so this is rocket box a little little itty bitty car uh, it does look like it is metal on metal perhaps so it's probably gonna be pretty quick and I love the color on those wheels it's almost like a pearlescent, but man, that is that is cool. But that is Rocket Box. All right, and I think the last one for this video, I'm I think I'll go ahead and do uh, three parts to the holiday haul. So to wrap this one up, the last vehicle I want to share is radio flyer wagon it is the red iconic colored radio flyer with a giant engine on the back with cool looking metal fin although i believe the fin might be plastic uh not exactly sure but it's a definitely a heavy model but this one was pretty cool to get with a radio flyer wagon if you like this video, feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, smash that like button. Also, uh, let me know what you thought by leaving a comment down below of this video and maybe ideas of future videos you would like to see on this channel. So I definitely appreciate you watching and uh, we will go ahead and continue this on a part three to get through all the other vehicles we have yet to go. Thank you guys so much for sticking with all the way to the end of the video. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to definitely uh, check with what time zone you are in correlation with Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, comment, share, like, all that fun stuff that you could do to help me and my channel I would greatly appreciate it and if you like this video be sure to check out whatever side the video is going to be on I uh, will be sure to go ahead and check out that other video on this channel and thank you so much can't wait to see you again